Okay, today we're going to do a lesson on how to draw an elephant. So we're just going to start again just by very lightly, just with some simple shapes, just to work out where things go. I'm just going to sketch out an oval here just so I know that that's where the head might go. Maybe a bigger oval here. Just because that's where the body will go. Uh, maybe we'll just work out hmm, the trunk. You can see I'm just doing this very lightly. Maybe a trunk that curls down. Again, I'm just doing this so lightly just to work out where sort of things go. I might change some things as I go here, but just, just working it out. Let's put in a, a front leg, just sketch this out very lightly. Let's pop in another leg, he's walking. Okay, something like this. Now let's just get this, uh, we'll fix the body because it won't be quite so round as that, but uh, it might even come up a little bit and join. We'll just, so it's not so round here, we'll just join it with a line and just square it off a little bit and then bring this trunk around. Just, just working on this shape very lightly because I'm going to rub some of this out. Now, down here, we're just gonna bring this, this oval. I'm just gonna come down a bit lower now and uh, just work out maybe somewhere here. We'll put in a, um, a tusk. A tusk will just curve down like this somehow. We'll just put something in the back there too. All right, I'm just gonna get rid of this line for a moment because it's going to confuse me. Okay, now I'm just going to bring, um, again, I can just change things as I go. Um, we need an ear here, so let's just bring it. It's almost like a bit squarish here. It's like a big curving diamond shape. Something like this. Okay, now just get this back looking a bit more in the right shape. Oh, and I nearly forgot, let's put a tail on too. Okay, just trying to get this shape right. It looks a little bit maybe too high up here. So I'm just going to change this. Just keep changing it until it sort of looks right. I'm just gonna... Fix that leg. Just keep working on these shapes, just getting it to look right. Just keep moving back and forth to different parts of your picture. Okay, all right, this eye, let's work out where this eye goes. I'm guessing it goes somewhere in here.
here. Maybe it's just bring this around too, like the inside of the elephant's ear. Okay, just working over these lines just to keep filling it in. Okay, just keep working on this shape. Just working out where everything goes. Just keep working on it till it looks like an elephant. Okay, something like this. Not quite sure. Alright, now it's starting to look a little bit like an elephant. Just going to maybe bring a little shape there, like a little mouth. All right, now, what I'm going to do now is just get rid of any lines I don't really need for a moment. And I'm just going to lightly shade this in. Okay, all the way around. Just very, very lightly. As you can probably guess, I'm going to blend this in with my finger in a moment, which is why I'm doing it very, very lightly. Okay, all I'm doing here with the pencil is I'm not colouring it in or creating lines, I'm just really wanting to get some lead on my page so that I can just blend it in and smudge it like this. Because I just want this to turn grey, my white paint to turn grey. And then I can start adding some darker areas and lighter areas with my rubber. Don't worry if you go over the edges here, I sometimes go over because we know we can just rub that out and tidy it up at the end. I'm just fill in that here. Okay, let's just fill in the head. I sometimes even like to just sort of swap fingers. My finger gets a bit tired or gets a little bit too dirty. Okay. Okay, starting to look a little bit like an elephant. All right, I'm just gonna tidy up some of my edges. I like to do that as I go, just before it gets too messy. Okay, so I've got my basic shape and I've got um, some basic colour to work with. So I just need to now just neaten up my edges. Just really get this definite shape to it. Okay, just darken some areas. Here. Now this should be a little, I'm going to make the sort of, think about the light here, so I need to just lighten some areas, darken some areas, put in some little, um, some toes, some little details. Okay, so I'm just going to just use some more shading, just to darken up the back of the leg here. Just building it up, don't draw this really hard. I'm just doing this very light, just to gradually build up colour. Okay, and now I can blend this in, so it just gradually goes from darker to lighter, almost as if I was shading like a cylinder or something. Okay, let's just fix this leg up. Okay, put some little toes in. 
Okay, and again, this is going to be in sort of shadow here because it's behind. So I'm just going to create a little curve here and I'm going to make this a little bit darker. I actually am going to press a little bit harder for this because I want it to be quite dark. Okay, here we go. And again, I might just smudge that in a little bit, let it come down. A little bit darker. Okay, and let's just neaten up those edges again. So I don't want the smudge to go outside of the elephant. That would look messy. Okay, oh, now I've lost my back leg here, so I've just better pop that back in. I'll make that quite dark because it would be in shadow. Now, let's just pop his uh, tummy back in and I'll just bring those lines back in that I lost before. Okay, and again, just going to put a little bit of shading under his tummy. first make it sort of match this back leg over here so let's get the line in and we don't want it to be sort of perfectly straight because it wouldn't be perfect we just make it a little bit wobbly I suppose put in the little toes something like that okay now just like this leg over here I'm gonna sort of shade it a bit closer might even sort of give it a little bit of a, a curving shadow Come down the back of the leg, just thicken that up. Again, I'm not pressing overly hard because I want to be able to blend this. Okay, something like that. Okay, now for this leg here, we'll um, just darken that edge up here a little bit. Again, put some little toes in, something like that. Front. Okay, and I'm just going to again just sharp uh, shade this up a little bit, a little bit darker on the back. Thinking it as like a sort of a 3D shape, like a tube. And let's just smudge it in a bit. Okay, something like that. I'm going to just put a few sort of little lines and. It wouldn't be perfectly smooth now. Okay, just a few little, just a few little direction lines. Okay. All right, I'm just going to sharpen this pencil. Keep your pencil nice and sharp all the time. Yeah. Anyway, you can sort of see something. You think, oh, that needs a little line there, a little bit of dark, and there, just add it in. Just make that a little bit darker. Okay, let's just fix this back up. Okay, uh, now let's put this pop this ear in. So let's just follow this line around. Now I want to create like a shadow, so I'm just going to bring this ear, like this line out a little bit. You can maybe even do this just so you know it, so this is where the shadow will go. Now I'm just going to shade that in as normal, just very softly, lots of little lines, very softly, because I want to smudge them in again so don't make these really hard, really lightly. Okay, something like this. Okay. And, and 
just smudge it in so it's a really soft sort of shadow. Just going to neaten that up because I want a bit off. Okay, now it looks like the ear is sort of sitting off, off his body. Okay, I'm going to create some a bit of shadow here too. Even a bit of shadow just around the ear here. And then that will really make it look like it's sort of sitting off his face like that. Okay, it might even be a little bit too dark, but anyhow, that's okay. We can rub some bits out if we need to. In fact, while I've got my rubber, I might just put a few little, whoops, don't do that. A few little lines just to show a little bit of sort of um, highlights there, just to give a bit of direction. A little bit of light. Maybe a little bit of light through his tummy. so it doesn't look too light. All right, now what about, um, let's do the inside of this ear. Might as well finish this ear off. So we just want to get this, um, this sort of shape here, give it an inside. So let's just, I'm not really sure. I'm just making this up actually. So I'm just going to create, I guess, the hole in his ear. I'm guessing it'll come down a bit lower, something like this. We'll put a bit of shading around it. Okay, again, we'll just smudge that in a bit, give it a bit of shade, make it look a little bit sort of 3D. All right, that's a pretty cool ear. Okay, now let's just bring that head round. Let's get his head looking good. Okay, maybe just a little bit of shading sort of on his head here, just where they sort of got sort of bumps and lumps and things. Okay, something, I'm not sure, something like this. Let's make this up. I'm sure there's like little bumps and lumps and things on his face. I think maybe this would come out a little bit too. Put a bit of shadowing comes out here just to give him a bit of a something there. Okay, all right, it's starting to look like, so I'm trying to get these sort of little creases and folds and things. Okay, let's put an eye in, a little eyelid. Okay, something, uh, a little bit of dark around his eye. Okay, maybe something like this. He looks a bit sad. This guy, you know. Just that bit of shadow around his eye. Okay, now let's just get this uh, tusks. Darkening up, I'm just sort of darkening bits, just putting little highlights here. If I wanted something a bit lighter, I can just, just take areas away, lighten areas up with my rubber as well. You know, maybe it could be a bit lighter up here. So I can just lighten things up a bit. Even just get, um, actually I'll do this in a minute, I'll make this trunk look cool. Follow this round now. I just want to. I don't want to go over this trunk. So I'm just, uh, sorry, the tusk. I'm just going to sort this tusk out. And tusk on the other side. Okay, that makes sense. That's okay. All right, now I'm just going to put in some of these uh, little little creases and. Just want this to be a bit darker on the inside so just again just going to thicken up that shading same down here just blend it in 
imagining this trunk a little bit like a cylinder. We want it to be curved, so we want it to be dark on one side, but then a little bit lighter on the other. So we'll just sharpen up that edge. Okay, and now just for the finish, the end of the trunk, we just put this in a bit of shadow because it's underneath. Okay, that's looking quite nice. Just add some little lines and features in. Now, um, I also just want to clean up the trunk, or the tusk. smudging in there okay but maybe just a tiny bit of shading around the edge just a little bit of gray underneath okay and that's just neaten up these edges a little bit because they're a bit blurry and messy um, it's really good to keep our edges clean I think this just makes it look just all that little bit better at the end to have nice, neat edges. Okay, just keep our lines tidy. Okay, and just to finish this off, I might even just give it a bit of shadow, like give it give it a bit of ground or something, so... Because um, this shadow will just give it... Sort of make our elephant look a bit heavy, you see. So let's give it a bit of a... And again, I'm just wounding side to side, just filling it in. Nothing too fancy here. Just... Just filling it in. You can decide how far you want this shadow to go, but that's probably enough. Okay, and there we have a pretty cool looking elephant. Uh, it's a little bit tricky, take your time with it, bit of patience, um, keep your pencil sharp, um, just, you know, work on your shading, use your rubber to make highlights and lighter and darker sort of areas. Um, have some fun with it and good luck.